the best HBOS fan for you. So you, people say, oh, I've got the best HBOS fan, but really, what is the best HBOS fan? So the best one is, is the one that actually works well for you. We'll go over a number of things that you need to know, such as, is it efficient? Does it run a long time? And will it last? And the efficient, like, will it use a lot of electricity compared to others? So if you use a lot less electricity than your air conditioning, because you can run a lot less air conditioning because you have a lot more air movement, you need to watch out for things like forklifts. So if you got a forklift here and you ram it into it, it won't last a long time. So that kind of comes under the installation aspect. But, but the best fan is out of the way of your forklifts. And that'll, there may be some trade-offs with the efficiency. For the fan, you can see here in the background, we've got one that's like 18 inches from the ceiling because we've got a overhead crane above it. So, so with an overhead crane, you're often limited to just a little bit of space. And then that means you, you can't bring your fan down very far. It's going to hit it. And that little bit of space don't leave as much room for the air to get in. So e even though it's not ideal from an airflow standpoint, it's better than no fan at all. So the best fan for the application actually may be not as efficient simply because you can actually get it in there. It's better than none at all. So here, right above my head here, we have them like five foot away. So those, those fans actually are blowing about double the amount of the exact same fan that's only 18 inches away. However, he right here, we had more room for it. So that allows the, the best fan for the application is still the same fan, but we, since we brought it down further, we're getting more efficiency out of it. The other thing that you ought to consider is zoning. The best fan for the area will be sometimes be either like the manager controls it because you have people just walking by, one guy turns it up, ticks off the others, and they come along, turn it down. Then you kind of go to a manager role with a remote control to set everything. Whereas here, where there's less people, and the each, each, you got a welding cell and other guys assembling things at different areas. They each have their own control so they can set the right amount of air for their task. So if they're welding, they don't want much air. They want just a little bit. If they're really, if you're really moving and assembling a lot of heavy parts, you want a lot of air. So zoning it will be part of the best fan. Because some, and some, some is going to be individual control, others is going to be more manager control. So these are the things you really need to consider. The best fan actually may not be just like product X. It's actually a whole bunch of things that actually work best for your application. And we will help you figure out what it takes for your, for your building to come up with the best one for your application. Thanks for watching. If we said anything that was valuable, leave us a comment and we will try to get back to you.